Hi, good afternoon. Uh, let's talk about living, loving, made. Led Zeppelin to get yourself a cup of coffee. Let's dig into this thing. I listened to a bunch of uh, lessons on this song, Living, Loving, Made, and I didn't see any that were quite accurate. And I don't, I don't even know how important it is to be all that accurate about uh, the way Jimmy Page played this song on one certain day back then, because he never played anything the same twice, let's face it. Um, but, you know, after hearing the song for so many years, it does get ingrained in your head. And if you're like in a, in a Zeppelin tribute band or something, people are going to expect it to be played like the record. So I thought, uh, you know, I will dig in and see how, how it actually is on the record. And uh, one of the things I found out is that, and, and I've seen this mentioned before, there is in the left channel, pan fairly and pan middling left not hard left there is a 12 string guitar playing the main riff in fact playing the entire song it starts off the 12 string doing this part so let's look at this riff um, as i think i said it's played on a 12 string there's an overdub on a regular six string uh, pan hard right uh, that just comes in doesn't play this part just comes in on the um, and, and it also plays the same so anyway let's get back to what uh, the left channel the uh, the pan left guitar is doing that's the 12 string and it's like this fifth fret of the E string, playing that A note there. Then you uh, go up to the third fret of the uh, A string. And then this chromatic run, three, four, five. And then all the way down to the uh, this G note here, uh, third fret of the E string. Anyway, so. I'm sure that uh, most people will be able to get that part. And then, this thing, he plays it that way most of the time, uh, and that is just a triad, A triad, starting with this octave A here, seventh fret of the D string and this uh, sixth fret of the E string, I mean of the G string, and this uh, fifth fret on the B string. So that gives you an A triad. And then you play the, uh, the low E with that, the open string E. And I often usually put my thumb on the, uh, on this A note on the uh, fifth fret of the E string. So you can get that in there too, if you want. At any rate, you don't want that. You don't want that low E string ringing out. So you could either dead note or play it. Now, all I'm doing there is uh, rolling over so that these three strings are covered, and that's a D triad. Uh, all three, uh, the D, G, and B strings, all on the seventh fret. Now, um, there are a couple places in the song where it sounds like he's doing this instead. And that is uh, just a different inversion of the A triad. And you're starting, here's, here's the chord. So that's on the 11th fret of the D string. Ninth fret of the G string, and up here to the tenth fret of the uh, B string. And that gives you an A triad. And then you move that up to this D triad, and uh, keep that low A ringing the whole time. 
Um, and the D triad, of course, is just a, it's just that like a fragment of a of a D bar chord. You just play the three strings though. Twelfth fret D, eleventh fret G, tenth fret B. So the whole thing is. And that's uh, like I said, just once in a while. I think the main the main riff is. And I, I've seen people say that, uh, like, that this uh, when you go, it's really, um, you know, from the from the third fret G here on the low E string up to this open E A. And I, I don't hear that. I don't think it's I don't think Jimmy Page is doing that would be a kind of a Jimmy Page thing to do, but I don't think he's doing it in this case. I think it's just and every once in a while it sounds like just a hammer on. Um so um now the other guitar, uh, pan hard right is uh, a, a guitar doubling that figure. It doesn't play the build up thing. It just comes in on the. And then, then cuts out again for the next build up. So it doesn't do this. It just comes in on this part. So let's talk about the uh, the kind of A power chord that Jimmy Page used in this song in the, uh, you know, the build up portions of the That part, uh, now it's a, it's a form of an A power chord and I'm sure you all know this form of an A power chord. A power chord, of course, is just a, a root and a fifth. So this version, um, this the one everyone knows, is this A on the fifth fret and this E on the uh, A string on the seventh fret. And you could use that one if you wanted to. However, if you move that, make that an octave higher, that puts the root on the seventh fret of the D string right here. And the, the E note, the fifth, is on the ninth fret of the G string. And you get that. Now, while you're there, you may as well include this octave A, which is an open string A, like that. And you might as well put the little finger on this uh, A note on the tenth fret which you can definitely hear uh, in the recording. You can hear that note ringing out. So what you have is this note, this chord. And that's the form uh, that Jimmy Page uses in that part of the song. Now, when it goes to the, uh, I guess it's the bridge, the, it's just, it's a D, and you can hear the the third in there, and he's he's adding the little finger to throw in that suspended fourth now and again. But it's like this, or like, uh, and then it goes to the uh, that A that we've been using with the open A string, and you also add the little finger on the suspended fourth for that on the uh, seventh fret of the G string. So, and then this thing, that build up on the, uh, on the uh, E, and it's a bar chord E with the open E string uh, also ringing out, so. Uh, meanwhile, uh, over on the pan far right uh, 
guitar. There's a wah wah thing going on. Uh, goes like this. So um, what you're doing there is you're playing the top three strings of a D chord and you're sliding up to that. So like, and you're pressing the toe down on a wah wah pedal while you do that. Then you go to the, uh, to this chord, which is uh, an inversion of an A major. So that note right there, ninth fret G string, 10th fret B string, ninth fret E string, and you slide up to that. And of course you slide off too. Um, and so that's what's going on in the right channel while the, uh, the other thing then. Okay, the solo part, um, it starts off in the uh, major pentatonic uh, key of A, up here on the uh, 14th fret with a little slide up. So you're sliding 14 to 16. And then, well, as you can tell, going up to the uh, 14th fret on the G string. And then there's this thing. Now, that is just a, also a major pentatonic. You're bending up this uh, 17th fret on the B string. And then you bend it a little further the second and third time, so it's like. And then that's just a, that, that's actually not that last lick. That's a little bit of the uh, A mixolydian scale, if you care about that. That's not in the, uh, the, the major pentatonic, but it sounds cool. So, and then once again, and then this chromatic uh, run up on the B string, fret by fret. So the only, you're going up fret by fret until you get to, I'll show you. When you get to the, uh, to the 14th fret, you go back down again, back to the 12th fret and then bend the 14th fret up. And you want to bend it to this note, which is the seventh of E because you're playing against an E chord there, so. Well, uh, it was lovely spending time with you today, and I hope you got something out of the lesson. And if you did, uh, please go ahead and subscribe. I need, I need subscribers. So uh, thanks a lot.